Can you see me? I'm so bright and very happy today because I'm going to a chariot festival, Krishna festival today. ISKCON is arranging for this festival. They're doing it in Croydon High Street. I'm going there with my friends. My kids and hubby are not coming because it's the weekend. Kids have got their classes. My elder one has got a tennis class and my younger one has got her regular swimming class. So Parthi said he will take care of them. So I'm going with my friends. I'm going to enjoy the Krishna festival is always lots and lots of fun lot of yummy Indian food dancing on the street and everything is going to be so much fun and there is also a car festival chariot festival also in the high street let's all go there shall we but before we go there many of you asked me how we control the bugs and things in our garden because we are doing organic gardening we do it every summer we don't use any chemical sprays any chemical pesticides we don't use it we use all the natural methods all the organic methods many of you asked me how we do it there is a very inexpensive very cheap method i'll show you how we do it i'll show you how many of our plants are affected I've got some affected plants in the greenhouse also. I need to use that uh, natural spray today. Look at this carjet. Can you see how it is affected? The white parts in the green leaves, that's all disease. We need to spray it today. And uh, see my chayote plant is affected too. Can you see the brown spots? <laughs> Can you see my natural bird scarer? <laughs> One of my friends gave us this idea. So this is one of my old parties actually, parties old t-shirt. I've hung it in a stick. It really acts like a bird scarer. It works. As long as it works, it's okay, isn't it? Otherwise, see, lot of birds come to our garden and they eat all our precious tomatoes. See, they pick all of them. So that's where we put the bird scarer there. See? Many plants are affected here, many of them, mainly cucumber and corget. See the brown spots here. That's also mainly because of the, we have got a lot of rose plants in our garden. When you have rose plants, that gives a mildew disease, powdery mildew disease that is affected to the pumpkin patches and the cucumber also. So I have to spray, definitely spray it today. Look at the lilies, they're all so happy in the sunlight. <laughs> I'll show you how many plants are affected in the greenhouse also. The mainly affected plants are chayote, chayote squash, pumpkin, and then uh, cucumber, then uh, corget. If these get the disease, they will spread to tomato and the chilies also. I'll show you, see how it is affected there. Look at that cucumber plant there. Can you see? This is chayote, it is also affected, see? The brown spots. See the cucumber, I need to definitely spray this. Come on, let's go and make the natural pesticide solution. Very cheap and 100% organic. I'm going to use this milk as a pesticide. It's a natural pesticide. I'll show you how to use it. It's the best method. I've taken almost one cup of milk. This will be enough for the whole garden to spray it. That is all you need it. Take one cup of milk and dilute it with 10 cups of water. One part milk, 10 part water and then use a bottle something like this. Don't sprinkle the milk water, it won't be enough and it won't be the best method also. The best method is take a spray bottle like this, fill it up with milk and water solution, close it and then spray it on the leaves that are affected. Spray it on both sides, top side and the bottom side also. We can spray it to all the plants that are not affected as well. This is the best natural method. I'll show you why it works. I'm spraying it to chayote squash now. This works like magic. Believe me, you know, first time when my neighbor's gardener told us, my neighbor's gardener only told us this. And when he told us, me and my husband really laughed at him. Oh, we said, oh, you're making fun of us, don't you? And then he made the solution and sprayed it to all the plants in their garden and showed us how to do. You know how this works, the scientific reason behind this. This is high fat, full fat milk. Don't use any zero fat or low fat milk. You need high fat milk for this. And also you need sunlight like this, really scorching sunlight. It won't work in cold weathers and it won't work in UK in the uh, colder climate times during December months. You have to use it in summertime. 
and uh, you have to use the full fat milk as I told you one part milk and 10 parts of water mix it when you spray it like that you know what happens when the sun is scorching like this the milk protein milk has got protein right high quality protein the protein burns in sunlight and in that chemical reaction all the fungus and bacteria in the surface of the leaves they just burn and die they are scorched to death that's exactly how this works this works like a magic trust me try it in your garden and then tell me you have to spray this once in two weeks 15 days once we usually do once in two weeks only it works great i'm taking a bus today there is a bus in one minute that's why i'm rushing there i love going by bus that too it's very difficult to park the car there i'm going to croydon it's a very busy area so it's better to take public transport I'm on time but the bus is a couple of minutes late. I'm taking another bus. This bus doesn't go to Croydon High Street. The driver told me there was an accident in Croydon today. So all the buses are diverted in a different route. But I'm going to get off at Croydon Bowling Place. Bowling Centre is there and then uh, maybe from there I can take another bus. Because, um, there are three or four buses from there. So that's where I'm heading now. Look, there is no one in the bus except me and the granddad. I had to change two buses. I'm a little bit late. I don't know if they have started. Let's go and see. This is the high street. You know, the Indian equivalent is the marketplace. You know, where they have loads of shops in Chennai, like Pondi Bazaar. We have the Tinagar Pondi Bazaar. Plenty of shops here. Oh, I love taking trams. This Croydon area has got trams and only in few other places they've got it. I've taken it only few times, you know, whenever I get the opportunities, I take tram. I love tram rides. I can see someone wearing Indian clothes and going. I saw a few saris and the lehenga wearing ladies, dhotis and all that. Yes, I'm heading in the right direction. That's where it's happening, near MNS. I'm going there. Yay! They are coming now, look! Indians are gathering here. festival for Krishna they are celebrating the anniversary more and more Indian crowd is coming now it is so colorful here people are joining in groups like this and dancing on the streets it is so much fun there are two chariots here one is big one and the other one is smaller one I think the small one is for the kids Maybe I'm going to join that procession with the kids now. More and more people are coming in now. It is so colorful and they are distributing prasadam to everyone in the street and everyone is joining in. Irrespective of their nationality and whoever they are, everybody is joining in. It is so much fun, so much of happiness around here. The joyful occasion is going on here.
nearby park but they have stopped here for a while because some of them are going to perform Bhadratyam dance and the cultural events are going to happen here. Hands up, whoever heard about stress? Have you ever heard about stress? 